Hi everyone. In Orthodox history, there have been many aristocrats, as there have been in many other places all through the world. And a lot of times these aristocrats take quite a beating for the way that they treat the populace that might be underneath them. However, today's saint is a little bit different because on November 10th, the Holy Orthodox Church celebrates the memory of Saint Constantine Kaki. Now he is so named because he was from the Kaketian region of the country of Georgia. Constantine was quite a devout man and he lived at a time that was very difficult for Georgians. This was in the ninth century. And during that period, there were a lot of incursions by the Muslims into Georgia and other regions that caused great distress for many of the Orthodox Christians there. In this case, Constantine, about 851, 852, was 85 years old, and yet he still led portions of the Georgian army. Now, St. Constantine was someone who was extremely devout, who was wanting to go to many places to venerate the holy places in Jerusalem, and did so. And in fact, he went into the Jordanian desert, got the blessings of many of the desert fathers there, and fell in love with the place as anyone would. But he was so in love with it that he sent 30,000 pieces of silver annually to the church in Jerusalem to help maintain those Christians there and the holy places that are so dear to many Orthodox Christians all over the world. Constantine, being a very, very pious and devout man, as all Orthodox Christians should be, felt in his heart that the only way that he could achieve forgiveness of his own sins was through the shedding of his blood for the sake of the one that shed his blood for him. In other words, he was someone who was not afraid of martyrdom and perhaps even desired it. And in this case, he was able to act quite boldly in the face of many adversaries that came against him. At one point in time, in the aforementioned time period, the Georgians were being assaulted again by some Turks that came into the country and were desperately trying to defeat the Georgians. And Constantine and his son were there battling valiantly against them. Again, remember that this man was 85 years old. Well, despite a valiant effort, he was captured and taken uh, deep into Iraq. Well, in Iraq, the local governor of the province, as we have heard so many times, who knew about St. Constantine Kaki, received him with great honors because he knew that the Georgian people loved this man so dearly and that if they could turn him, they could easily defeat the rest of the population because there were many Georgians at that time because of fear or pressure betrayed the faith. Well, St. Constantine, although enticed by riches and glory and the flip side of the coin, which was going to be certain death, refused saying, there is no way that I am going to deny my Lord and Savior, who has the power to both raise from the dead and cast into hell. I'm not going to deny him because of my great love for him and all that he has done for me. Because again, St. Constantine Kaki was an aristocrat, and an aristocrat that gave much of his wealth to the poor and for other charitable purposes. Well, because of this, the man in charge knew that there was no alternative for him except to put St. Constantine to death. And indeed, that's what he did. He was executed by the sword sometime between the years 852 and 854. Some of the dates are not exact. After this, they took his body and held it up for all to see for quite a long while in order to intimidate the Christians. 
But of course, no such intimidation had any effect on the Christians, and after a while they were able to take his body and bury it. Within a few years, the relics of St. Constantine Kaki were transferred back to his home country of Georgia, where they are held in great, great honor. St. Constantine is one of many who fell during those difficult times, not only in Georgia, but in many other places as well, uh, to the Muslim yoke. The Muslims were intent on wiping out Christianity at all costs, despite their evident saying that, well, these are people of the book also, and as Muhammad says, we are not to treat them badly. That particular bit of information from the mouth of Muhammad was never really followed closely. And St. Constantine Kaki is a wonderful martyr, considered a great martyr in Georgia, not only for the fact that he gave his life, but for the fact that he witnessed for Christ and was charitable in so many other ways to all the Christian people. May his faith become our faith also as we go forward in our Orthodox Christian walk. Bye-bye.